um, <laughs> you know, <laughs> because I'm looking at delegitimize. The basic definition is a withdraw legitimate status or authority from an institution, an organ, whatever you may call it. So how do you expect to do that? I rarely do this, but today I think I should do it. I rarely refer people back to reading political history. I want to refer my friends here to a book authored by Flavio Cumarano, an Italian, when he talks about delegitimization. <laughs> and he talks about this as a useful category of political history. Mm -hmm. When you have a regime like Kenya Kwanzaa that is extraneous to the shared constitutional perimeter, and they are breaking it shamelessly, then the constitution of the country called Republic of Kenya gives the people the power in Article 1 and tells them that when the people who represent you fail to protect you, then you can access that sovereign power directly. Mm -hmm. Now, delegitimization is withdrawal of that authority that you have given. In our view, and in, major in the view of the majority of the people, they have said that because they don't feel that they belong anymore, because they don't feel that they are presented in a way that they should, because they are in a country where others have decided it is no longer a republic, but a company of shareholders, and they are no longer shareholders. <clears throat> they are saying whatever these people are doing is not in the interest of the public, and therefore, the power they gave them, they are calling it back. That is what Fulvio Camarano call delegitimization. Number two. We know for sure that these signatures, there is no constitutional threshold of 10 million to say that now we have reached 10 million, now we delegitimize. But the moment, in fact, they're not only 10, we are going for 15 million, and that's what we are looking forward to towards the end of, 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 of this month. We are saying that by the fact that the people of Kenya can decide to take a pen and put it on paper or go digitally and consent that they are no longer interested in pursuing or in respecting or you know, uh, uh, getting the interest of the policies of Kenya Kwanzaa, as they say, and now they want to recall their power back, they have already made a statement. Now, this is something that has not been done before, Sam, and you know that. They have been saying that, you know, we want to impeach. No, we are not interested in impeaching. We are not interested in recalling the president. No, 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 no. Because that route is a parliamentary route. It goes through uh, the charge sheet, charge sheet is drawn by a national assembly member and prosecution is done by the Senate. We know that. It goes through all that process. But those are representatives who have failed. The people have said, what can we do by ourselves? without these delegated you know, powers. You know, I, I hear you, and obviously the value of whatever action is about what it brings, the consequence of it. Yes. Even if you have, because now you've revised it to 15 million signatures. Absolutely. Even if you get them, so what exactly will you do with them? Now Sam, that question I want to answer it in a very simple manner. When uh, Honorable Rigadi says that the election ended, the signatures ended, and now people are going, what he's forgetting, the very people that some of them put him into that position have said that they have failed in implementing their promises. They have said that they have used their position to implement oppressive uh, policies that they don't like. Today they are suffering. Those people, how do they come out and say, I don't agree with what you are doing? I don't agree with what you are saying. The only way of doing that is to come out in large numbers. Registered number of voters in this country, uh, as per the last election, of, of a, or slightly 22 million. If today, 15 million of the registered voters, irrespective of which region they come from, irrespective of which coalition they're affiliated to, say that I'm putting this on paper and I'm saying I am not agreeing with what this regime is doing. And therefore, if I elected you, whether you're a member of parliament, whether you're a president, whether you're a deputy president, whether you're what, I am withdrawing that uh, delegated authority and bring it back to me. In, that means they don't agree with you. And you should be very but, but, worried. But, but horrible. Uh, uh, sorry, <laughs> Fred, maybe one day you should be. Um, <laughs> Inshallah. Fred, even as you say that, the truth of the matter is the power is exercised through the executive. And you know who leads the executive? Exactly. 
parliament represents people and legislates. Exactly. The judiciary interprets the constitution and of course uh, deals with the disputes. Yes. So with or without 50 million signatures, those institutions continue because they are guided by the constitution. I, I agree, I agree, Sam. We are, so, uh, so uh, no, the specific question here then is, what are you telling the supporters of Kenya Kwanza, I, I mean, of um, Azimio, and are you being honest? We are telling the supporters of Azimio and Kenyans in general that when you are helpless, and the way they are helpless now, you can decide to withdraw your sovereign power and take it to yourself and decide what to do with it. We are not doing anything wrong. By the way, all these are within the law. And Sam, you have asked a very important question. I want to answer Talking it. Talking too much. These people... Think? You, you see, that's why I'm here, boss, to no, talk no. too much and answer this. No, no, but uh, uh, your time is like... You know, you came late, so, oh, it's, so, so it's okay. But I'll, I'll be done shortly, boss. So, 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 so some these 15 million signatures are a, a manifestation that those 15 million registered voters do but not agree... Got yet with what boss Shule and Tim are doing. They do not agree with what Osoro and Tim are doing. And yeah. in accessing that power, yeah. they can actually decide that because we have been oppressed in so many ways, people. the people of Kenya, Osoro, that chased oh, you from Gusi Stadium, not, these are the people, <laughs> people you know, never me they anywhere. chased you. So, you know, you, know, you know, Sam, we must be honest with ourselves. <laughs> we okay, are I, I hear saying you. that in no, no, no. this I, signature collection, yeah. in fact, I, I pray that Osoro don't introduce soup. Allow those members of parliament that want to collect signatures to collect All because right. it is their interest to do what their people want them okay. to do. Um, Honorable Osoro, so, 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 I mean,